Welcome to this Autodesk Inventor tutorial. In this video, I'll walk you through the steps to use the emboss command, a powerful tool that lets you add text or a sketch to a 3D surface. Whether you're customizing a part with a logo or adding important labeling, the emboss command makes it easy to elevate your designs. Let's get started. To demonstrate how to do this, um, I'm going to show you how to put either text or geometry um, onto a cylindrical surface, which is pretty, a pretty common way of doing it. And for my example here, I'm going to use the idea of a mountain bike grip. Um, I want my mountain bike grip, maybe it's made of silicone rubber, but I want it to have a little bit of texture. So I'm going to put my logo or my product name and I'm gonna engrave it into that grip a little bit so that it you know gives me a little bit more texture so that I can hold on while I'm barreling down the mountain or whatever it happens to be <clears throat> so I've already got my grip modeled with the correct you know 22 millimeter uh, inside diameter and the 30 millimeter outside diameter it's you know already showing up here as silicone rubber and I've changed the color and all that kind of stuff so now what I want to do is just add my logo and my text and that kind of stuff and emboss it and finish it all out. So to do so, I'm going to start off by creating a new work plane. I'm going to say I want a work plane that is parallel to that XY plane and tangent to that front surface. Now I might have wanted to offset that from the surface a little bit and there could be a reason why you'd want to do that. but. I like to put it right on the surface because then that gives me the opportunity that if the diameter of that grip changes from say 30 millimeters to 32 millimeters it's going to automatically update um, and that work plane will still be tangent to that surface so that's the reason I did it that way so from here now what I'll do is I'll say I want a new sketch on that surface and then yeah, if you've any watched any of my videos, you know that I always like to constrain things and keep things held in place. So I'm going to use construction lines and I'm going to project the top of that grip and the bottom of that grip as construction lines so that I can hold my sketch in place and know exactly where it happens to be. <clears throat> now that I've got those two lines uh, projected, I can turn off my construction line and I'm simply going to use the text command here to come in here and create a text box. And then I will change the size. Let's say we want it to be maybe like 15 millimeters. <clears throat> um, I can change the font to, you know, whichever one I think happens to be appropriate. Uh, it could be anything you want. How about Magneto, for example? And then um, I'll say let's make it centered both ways and I can type in the name of the font there. And so I made it a little bit too big. I'm going to go ahead and highlight that. I'll make it a little bit smaller so that it all fits. Nope, still a bit too big. So we'll come in here and we'll just double click on that. And we'll, again, we'll highlight it all and I'll make it a little bit smaller even. All right, so that, that fits. Now at this point, what I want to do is, if I look in the lower right-hand corner down here, you can see that I still need some dimensions uh, to fully constrain this drawing. So I just need to say, hey, I want this line to be horizontal, and I'll put in a couple of constraints so that that point is right on that point, and this point is down on that point. So now you can see that it is fully constrained down here and we're ready to go. Sticky grips, it's ready to go. So I'll say, okay, let's finish that sketch. And at this point, you are ready to do your emboss. Now, I don't need to have this plane on anymore. It's just gonna kinda get in the way. So I'll right click on this and I'll turn the visibility off on that plane. And now what I can do is I can use the emboss command to put that logo right on the grip itself. So I'll say, let's use the emboss command up here on the create tab, okay? And then it's gonna say, okay, what profile do I want? So I can select my geometry or my text or whatever it happens to be. And then I've got three options. I've got emboss from the face, which is what I'll do first. You have engrave into the face or from the face. 
And then this third one here is to emboss or engrave from the plane. This one wouldn't work for me because I made my plane tangent to that surface. Um, and so, you know, it would not do anything in the middle, but it would do something on the edges where it's away from the surface. So uh, that's not what I want to do on this one. But I'm going to just start off with this one right here. <clears throat> right here, I can change the direction. Notice that it's pointing this direction now. I need to change the direction that I'm going. And this tells me how far it's going to emboss from that face, one millimeter, so I can choose OK. And you can see now that it is embossing that from the surface. Now if I look at the edge, you can see that it's embossing it tangent to or normal to that work plane. And you can see how this line is horizontal and this line is horizontal. So it's embossing it normal to that work plane rather than radial from the, um, from the grip itself. You can change that. Going back to the emboss command, I'll double click here and I can say, hey, let's wrap that to the face. And now it's going to ask me for the face. So the face is that cylindrical surface. I'll say OK. And now if I look at the side, you'll see that the emboss is normal or it's radial from the center of that. OK, so maybe that's a little bit more of what you might have expected. The other thing you could do is instead of embossing it, you could engrave it. So I'll just double click on this one more time and I'll say that I want to engrave it. Again, it's going to be wrapped. It's going to be one millimeter. I'll say OK. And now you can see that if you zoom up in there, it's engraved into that surface so that it goes all the way around. Now, if I wanted to finish this out, <clears throat> I could say, hey, let's, you know, wrap that around or let's do that several different times. So let's make a circular pattern of that emboss and then uh, my rotational axis is going to be that x-axis and you can see here that it's going to say how many do you want and I'll say oh, six is fine and I can put those in there and it'll take a minute and then it reproduces that all the way around so no matter what orientation you have it's good to go. So emboss is a great command it works with text it works with geometry play with it. It's a great product.